this. Ooh. For our first adventure into science in the she shed, we're going to be working with steam distillation. Specifically, the $150 or so kit that you can get on eBay. This kit comes in a bunch of pieces. Ooh. Pardon the mess. The she shed is in flux. I'm gonna be rebuilding the inside of this. It's gonna be so fancy. Let's get this thing together. These little valleys are basically where you're gonna slide this pole into. This reservoir is gonna be filled with water. It's gonna boil up through this reservoir. This is what's going to separate the oil from the water. Oil and water don't mix. As everything distills into this thing, the oil is going to sit on top of the water. I'm just going to turn this little valve. Water will come out the bottom and once the oil level gets down to there, you just whoop, stop it and voila. So this goes on the end here. This is a condenser. These two tubes, I'm going to have ice water from this bucket going in this tube coming back out this tube. The swirling tube in the middle makes no contact with the outside. So basically my oil and water mixture is gonna come down through the top, spin through this thing, and just be cooled down by this like jacket of cold water. This is called a bridge. So this is the setup. This is the entire still. I gave this thing a test run and what I discovered is it does it works the way it comes but this little hot plate that they send with it first of all it puts out smoke from all the stickers that they put all over it because it gets really hot secondly it takes a super long time it's only running 800 watts through it the bottom of this flask is not flat and so there's not a lot of contact it takes a really long time to heat up the water so for $20 on Amazon Prime and it came the same day I ordered this propane setup little propane regulator thing that just screws onto the top of a regular propane tank and we are gonna speed this process up for some reason they don't include this like two dollar item but you go get the tiny the world's tiniest little fish pump quarter inch hose out of the pump goes into the bottom of this guy back to your water reservoir goes from the top and then you'll see you turn the pump on Oh, my pump's not strong enough. Pump can only pump water up a certain height, so this bucket just has to sit on something. Metal clamp goes here. This big one is two size rings. There's a little ring and a big ring. The little ring goes on top, slides over this. This bottom reservoir gets filled with water. This will grow back. Also, this guy's gonna be our first candidate for a transplant to the hydroponic system. That, so basically, without damaging the plant too much, I just wanna stuff it all into this top reservoir. This water is gonna start to boil. The boiling water is gonna turn to steam. The steam is gonna pass up through all of these leaves. The steam is going to break down some of these leaves and release the oil that's inside of them. That's gonna travel up with the steam up into this bridge. The bridge will carry it on over to this thing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then it's all gonna drop down into this condensing coil. That's gonna cause the steam to turn back into a liquid. The liquid's gonna drop into this collecting flask or whatever you call it. This valve is shut off right now. So this all works on the principle that water and oil don't mix. The oil is going to float to the top of this flask. I'm going to drain out the water below the oil and then I'm going to have nothing but oil. And then poof, I just made essential oil out of a basil plant. What are we actually doing here? What are we making here? This is steam distillation and we're essentially, essentially, turning this little basil plant into an essential oil. We're extracting the essential oils out of it. I don't know anything about the medicinal properties or the magical health cures that can come from essential oils, but I do know that they smell really good in the diffuser in the house, and I, I now know the science of how they're made. This, ooh! That's why you gotta have these little things on, apparently. That's a good lesson to learn. I'm gonna burn myself now. 
I don't know how long this is going to have to run. It helps the process if you have ice in your in your cooling water. So the steam that's coming out of there is a bad sign. I didn't have ice in my uh, condensing water. So that heated up, but now it should cool back down. What's happening here? The steam, the heat, the water, the steam, the motion is all is breaking down the leaves and it's sort of releasing little microscopic droplets of its oil, of its essential oil. And the steam is carrying that oil and the steam and the water up through the bridge. Then it comes down into the condenser. So the condenser is two things. There's like a, a tube of cold water, but then another tube running through that tube where the steam is coming down. And as it cools off, it turns back into a liquid. It condenses and, and drops down into this collection flask. Turn. Uh oh. Which I can turn and just let the water out the bottom. As you probably know, oil and water don't mix. And so this steam oil water combination is going to end up in here and then the oil is going to float to the top of the water and i'll be able to separate it out so we can see as it travels through 212 degrees it gets up to here it's now down to 207 degrees it'll move up through here and i don't know if you can still see it even as it comes down to here we're dropping now we're at 150 160 and this is where it hits the cool water it's at 83 degrees travels through the condenser. There we go, 51 degrees as it leaves the condenser. And just when I thought everything was going really well. Great timing for a fantastic failure. <laughs> um, oh, I gotta turn that gas off. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, this ends this experiment. I'm gonna clean all of this up and do more research <laughs> on distilling essential oils. <sighs> we try, something blows up, we make a change, and we try again. Here's looking forward to the next She Shed science experiment. For now though, it's, uh, it's Easter time, so it's time to go eat, I guess. What do you do at Easter? What do you do at Easter?